No camping or overnight stays. I don't know if we're going to get away with it tonight. I've got my first guest in the van. There's only one rule while you're in here. Right. No fart. Oh, that's fine. Oh, oh my God. He's just come and sniffed right by my door. Off out on another camp we go. Fresh from installing the kitchen. The kitchen's in the back, it hasn't tipped over yet, so that's one good thing. <laughs> We're gonna be testing it out today. Before that, I've gotta clean the back of this van out. I'm not quite sure if the kitchen video's gone out before this. Should have done, yeah, I think so. Um, but the van's a mess. The van's an absolute tip in the back there. So I've gotta get all the old wood out and just make the back of this van campable again. Alrighty, let's get into the garage and clear out the back from all this mess. Look at all that. Now, I have got another dilemma tonight. What I was doing on the last camp with Dave and Gordon Rich was I was using the extension piece to this bed, like the U-shaped frame, to come across here and then put my old computer desk cutout thingy. Basically a very makeshift solution to the problem. But because I've got the kitchen in now, which is nice and firm and solid, I can proudly report, I won't be able to use that piece. So I've got to cut down that computer desk board to go in the corner there and hopefully it won't slide around. Fingers crossed. And I've also got probably one of the biggest upgrades to car camping slash van life that I think this channel's ever had. You'll remember on previous videos in the car, me using the Halford Special Cool Box, very small capacity cool box, used a hell of a lot of power, wasn't very efficient. Um, I don't think I'll be using that in the van again because EcoFlow have come through and they've sent me their brand new EcoFlow Glacier fridge, freezer and ice maker. Now that's gonna sit proudly on the front seat tonight and we're gonna be using it throughout the camp and see how it performs. Now it's got a very unique feature about it. It's got an inbuilt battery that's supposedly supposed to last, I think 24 hours, I think. So you haven't got to plug it in anywhere. It's got its own battery that slots into the back and that's your fridge, freezer and ice maker for a whole day of usage without having to plug it in. You can plug it in of course, but to have that totally off-grid option is an absolute game changer. But I'll show you that a little bit later on and let's get the back of this sorted first. You know what, that's not a bad line for me. <laughs> I'm not normally very good at doing straight lines, but that's not too bad, that. That'll do for tonight. So I'm only gonna have the bed in this mode tonight. I'm not gonna be bringing it out and having it as a double bed. The reason being is obviously we haven't got this bit to create the other side of the head piece, if you wanna call it that. Um, also as well, you may have already noticed, the drawers aren't in yet. The reason being, is that I haven't got a method yet or I haven't figured one out. I know a couple of different things you can do, but if someone can leave, uh, I suppose, the best solution to this problem, how to keep the drawers in while you're driving. What have you done to your van, if you've got a van that is, or what suggestions can you give me to solve that problem? I'm thinking you can get like these little turn, you screw them in, you just turn them and it keeps it all nice and tucked in, but that just seems like a very basic, solution right let me go and load the big bertha the eco flow glacier into the front cab so i'm gonna go across the double seats and then we'll go and pick up some supplies for tonight's camp and here is the beast oh, it's got three functions you got a fridge you got a freezer and you got an ice maker how cool is that you got all your temperature controls up here as well it's now at minus three and minus one it's got the built-in battery which i'm hoping will last for the duration of the camp but you can charge it in other ways you can charge it through the ac outlet right there or you can charge it through your car or your van's 12 volt plug or on a power unit that you've got. Now I've pre-chilled this through the AC to get it down to that temperature. And this is just solely running now off the inbuilt battery that's plugged into the back. I've got a couple of uh, ice packs in there to try and keep it nice and chill. We're gonna pick up some non-alcoholic cider. We've also got to get some steak. And it's all gonna go in there to try and keep nice and chill. And the van 
is all packed now. This is the setup for tonight. So I'm just going for the single bed tonight. Reason being is that I haven't got the back piece there that's gonna come out and make it into a double. Also as well, I haven't finished this unit yet. Got to get the drawers in at some point. Got to block off that cabinet at the end there. That's gonna be like a little storage cubby in the back. It looks quite comfy, doesn't it? I'm meeting Matty, Dave and Adam, and we're going to a place called Plush Hill in Shropshire. I think it's just past Church Strand. We're guaranteed to have some beautiful views. We might even go on a little walk as well, see if we can get the drone up. But it's all dependent on the British weather. Hello, hello. What do you mean, what time do you call this? You, you, call you went to go and get some fuel. <laughs> yeah, because you went off. It's a running joke, yeah. What time do you call this? What time do you call what this? What time do you call this? I've got something quite, um, let me just turn the indicator off. I've got something new to show you. Oh, have you? I've got a new gadget. Oh, right. You want to see it? Yes, please. Come yeah. on then. <laughs> That, my friend, is the EcoFlow Glacier. A what? <laughs> An EcoFlow Glacier. Two truck ices, please. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? You say that. <laughs> You could, you could you could do it in there. Really? You, you could do it in there, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a fridge compartment, it's got a freezer compartment, and it's got an ice maker. That'll make you ice. All right. In 12 minutes. Wow. That's pretty mental, isn't it? So whatever you get inside Aldi today, right? Yep. Drinks, whatever it might be, you need anything chilled, I'm your man. Let's go into Aldi, let's do a bit of stealth filming. Get some steak, get some drinks, get some snacks, and then we'll head off to go meet Dave and Adam. a favor just open that door <laughs> open that door open that door how are you doing it's as big as my car <laughs> i would wind down my window but i'm not as posh as your van what the f is this <laughs> oh, oh, oh. and look i've got some supplies for tonight <laughs> oh, it's got ice box tubes. Yeah, that's tidy, mate. That's your ice maker. Makes your ice in 12 minutes. Where are you going to put it? That's the thing. Come right there, mate. Is that, the <laughs> is that right there? Yeah. Or, you know when we box in the battery? Yes. Um, and build like a little plinth? Yes. It might go there if it'll fit. Ooh, but uh, it'll go there for the time being. I might get a strap to go around the side here just to make sure it's nice and secure. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, once the family's with me, when we go on a few camps in the summer, this will just be stored in the back while we're driving. As soon as we park up, put it in the front. you got he's, fridge, he's freezer. He's got all this dialed in. And <laughs> he's got it all dialed in. I'll shut your door. All right. All right, cheers, mate. <laughs> I wish I had electric windows. Now, a little bit more info about our park up tonight. It's a place called Plush Hill. Now, Matty and Dave have both said to me that this spot has plenty of no overnight parking signs. Now, we know we don't like them, but Dave said that it's actively policed. Not by police, but uh, by some uh, angry locals sometimes. So we'll see how we get on. I don't actually know how many flat parking spaces it's gonna be either. So there's four of us. We're gonna to wanna to park flat if possible, um, but we're just gonna wing it. We're just gonna do what we always do, go wing it on a camp and see how we get on. It should be interesting. And just while we head down to our camp spot for the night, here's a couple of finer details about the EcoFlow Glacier. It is the world's first three-in-one fridge, freezer, and ice maker. You can get ice makers separately. This is the only fridge freezer in the world as of making this video, that does them all in one unit. It uses a powerful 120 watt compressor so you can have ice cubes in under 12 minutes. And it's got a whopping 38 litres of capacity. You can fit up to 60 cans of my favourite drink, probably Fanta Fruit Twist in there. And another one of the major features is the fact that it's got a built-in battery that can last up to 40 hours off-grid. Now, like most EcoFlow products, you can recharge this unit by using solar power up to 240 watts in just over two hours, which means if you've got the right solar setup, you can have a fridge, freezer, and ice maker totally run off free power. Now, one of the major things I was impressed about with the Glacier is its super fast cooling speed. When I first plugged it into the AC at home, I was expecting it to take at least an hour to try and get down to temperature before camp. I was pleasantly surprised to see that the temperature that I set on the control panel up there of two degrees, it achieved that in well under 15 minutes. I genuinely can't wait to test this properly in the summer with the family. I've got loads of capacity in there to take away loads of meals, keep things cold, a couple of ice creams for my son as well. It's going to be a great addition to some summer camps. I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can check out the glacier. Now back to that hilltop in Shropshire. Oh, 
Oh, making love to the spot. What a great place to park. Dude, I thought you'd follow me. Well, Dan, all straight. He's only been to Ludlow and back. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, like did you walk up that road? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a road. It's yeah. great, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no you get the out of me, that did. I met two cars on the way down. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. I told, I told, Wheels were spinning. I told them to meet you down there. You oh, know, did you? Five years. I bet you did. So, so <laughs> we've got a bit of crap on the van, have we? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is where the wheels started spinning. It's only you, you crap, bro. <laughs> 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 See what you think. That's the setup for tonight. You haven't seen the kitchen in, you have you? No. No, that's the unit. I've got to um, batten up here first. I was obviously hanging over a little bit, but once that's battened up, I'll have half a step. And then that's the, the drawers are out. I haven't put the drawers in, because I've got to yeah. get some like little things to make sure they don't flap around. But yeah, that's that the setup looks tonight. Brilliant, mate. You, you're happy with it? It's first time since, isn't it? It is actually, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last time I saw you, I had the car. Yeah, yeah. It was last August, wasn't it? It was, mate, it was, yeah. Well, while we're here, can I have a look in your back end? <laughs> so I don't know if you guys remember Adam, Adam T Outdoors uh, from when we went to, was it, we hiked the Rhinogs, didn't we? We did the Rhinogs and then we did that amazing... That golf course. Golf, yeah. And then the amazing one, which was on the edge of Snowdonia. Yes, gorgeous. So this is like the setup now then. So how is this updated since I last saw it? Last time was a futon frame. Yeah. And now the futon frame is gone. I've got... Oh, you've got a little base now? An actual bed base. Ah, brilliant. And a bit of storage underneath. Yeah, loads. Of it goes all the way to the back. Oh, so, uh, And you mentioned to me you're going to carpet this? I am going to carpet it, yes. It's nice one, one mate. But, uh, I've had to get me new, uh, new mattress, I think, because this one is just huge. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's way too big for it. But I've got some foam at home, which I've had off days. Yeah. So I think I might incorporate it into, into actually have it on the bed base. Mate, it looks great. Yeah. You won't run out of gas, that's for sure. No, I don't know why I've bought it, but, but yeah. So Honestly, uh, mate, that looks so cosy in there. LEDs as usual. And actually, my setup tonight, I'm only going to have a single bed because I need to kind of cut down some wood to go into the kitchen unit. So yeah. it kind of brings back a few memories to car camping. <laughs> but this is what I was a little bit worried about. No camping or overnight stays. National Trust. I don't know if we're going to get away with it tonight. I think this is a more policed location than other locations that we've been to before that say no overnight parking. I know Colmere Lake is a, a nice place to go that does have signs as well, but never had any trouble there. New location, new park up in the Shropshire Hills. Beautiful views. What a great place to park. Whether it ends up being a quiet night is to be determined. We might get moved on, we might not, but only time will tell. Right, we'll do a little explore of the local area and I'll show you what's around Plush Hill. Just while we go for a hike, just in case any uh, boogaloops come and want to nick it. So uh, I'm trying at the moment, although the wind's not being my friend, to cover it with the curtain. So we're going to get there, we're going to persevere. Right, okay, quick, 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 quick. Do you think that does a good job or not? Or do you think that like kind of like gives it away a It kind of gives it away, really. But I, what I would do is, is I'd peer... Yeah, it gives it away. <laughs> Excuse the hairstyle, the wind's going to make it a little bit crazy, but this is what I love about coming into the Shropshire Hills, especially the long wind. First time at Plush Hill, and this is what we see. Some beautiful wild horses. Gorgeous animals. Brings back memories, actually, of when I camped up at the shooting box on top of the long wind. Went for a two minute walk, and I was with about six or seven wild horses. Just sat down, took it in, a deep breath, enjoyed the view. This is the beauty of Shopshire, isn't it? It is, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. We've nearly done it. That is the top of, what's the hill called, Dave? Haddon Hill. Haddon Hill. So we've parked at Plush Hill, that's Haddon Hill. And we're about to go see an amazing view. Oh, it's taking it out of me, this one. I've recently recovered from quite a bad bout of flu. I don't know if I mentioned it in a recent video, but I'm just on the tail end of feeling a bit better now, so. Where are they off to? Oh, <laughs> you're doing your B-roll. <laughs> there you are. As a little sneak peek behind the scenes of what we need to do, <laughs> the extra miles that need to go into a video. 
Taste magnets. And we've done it at the top of Haddon Hill. Look at the views. You could just see a couple of specks of other people on the opposing hill there. It's unbelievable. It's gorgeous. The sun coming through the valley, the clouds. It's just, it feels so good to be back out here. Nice chilled one for you. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Non alcohol. Oh, Strawberry good. and lime. Is that from the Aldi special? Aldi special, you got it. Oh, Wouldn't get it from anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, mate. There you are, buddy. Thank you kindly. Wet your lips. Thank you very much. David? Here you are, mate. What's up, mate? Fresh from the EcoFlow Glacier. Have a nice cold one on me. <laughs> Gent, I, I, owe, I owe you one. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, oh, I've sorry. got my first guest <laughs> in the van. Come on in, Matty. Oh. Take your shoes off. Oh, well, indeed. <laughs> Do you want me to just wait out here for my turn? No, come on, come on in. Take, take your boots off, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, it's lovely in here. What do you reckon? Do you want the door shut? Uh, yeah, we're going to get a bit romantic, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken how many years? <laughs> on, give it a good, give it a good push. That's it. Bloody hell, it's lovely in here, isn't it? Are you a bit cold? I am a little bit chilly. Would you like, have... would you like a bit of a diesel? <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? What's he playing at? <laughs> would you like the diesel heater on for Oh a bit? yeah, I'll have a yes. bit of diesel yeah. heating on. Oh, no, I don't, I don't blame you. I don't oh, blame it's you. Right, it's lovely, you ready? Yeah, Give it a click. It. That's a little uh, tune where it plays. Start to work, that's what it says. Oh, yeah. There's only one rule while you're in here. What? No farting. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I don't fart anyway. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, bud. Thanks for coming on all the camps, all that's the right. car camps. Now I've been on the van camps as well. And here's another toast to many more adventures. Absolutely. Now, I need a new pair of boots. Um, I did mention in the previous video that I have got the, can you remember the name of my boots? I can't remember you've had that many, mate. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll forget the name of the boots, but I need a new pair, basically. Um, they get really, really wet, even going for a short walk. Can anybody recommend a decent pair of boots that's gonna last me a fair few years of going through various different trails, different temperatures, um, different moistures. That I want them to be breathable as well. Leave a suggestion below for a decent pair of boots. The return of the Ridge Monkey. <laughs> been a while. You've been asking for it, yeah, it's been a while, mate. It's been a while. I was going to say, I could put my milk in the old fridge. Of course you could. Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah. Looks like baby formula. <laughs> Let's pop it in the glacier. And we can get the steak out while we're here. 85%. That's not bad going. Nice piece of sirloin tonight. That'll do. Let me legend. Mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank, Thank you, mate. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Jesus! Look at that. It's been a last. Right. That's the steak on the plate. It's a big milestone. This, the first properly cooked meal in the back of the van. Hmm. Are you comfy? Oh, I am, mate. <laughs> I am. It's like the pub. Sat back. Chilling. It's With like, the hot chocolate. Do you know what? It's like a friendly pub being in. It is, isn't it? It, <laughs> it is. It is. You don't want to leave. Oh, chin, gonna... chin. Chin, chin. <laughs> oh, right. I'm going to tuck into the rest of this steak and mash, and I'll join you back in a bit. So, just a bit of reminiscing here. Got two car campers with us. Adam from Adam T Outdoors. Matty from Matty's Adventures. That's what it's called, isn't it? It is. Yeah. yeah. Have a look, a little look at Adam's setup tonight. What are you doing right now, Ad? You're putting your window covers up? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you put them in from the outside, do you? You put Just the windows because down? because I've got these from Car oh, Trade right. UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to keep, I, I broke them last time, you see the pins. Okay. So I'm just there. Uh... And you got covers for all the windows? Oh yeah, because that one's up. Yeah, that one's nice. up. Nice. Looking quite cozy in there, actually. Just, isn't it? 
Let's check on what Matty's doing. So Matty, explain to us the setup, mate. Okay, so I've decided that it, used, it should be a, a chair that's free. However, because these conditions are getting colder and the wind's getting up, I can't be arsed. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm gonna okay. do is, is it's, it's called get the fucking better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, really quickly. Yeah, so yeah. that's all I'm doing now. So the back seats are forwards, pull that straight out. That's it. And it wasn't long until night was upon us and the temperature started to drop. Oh. oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Quite a few of you commented on the last video, on the last camp at least, asking to see what the van looks like when the curtains are drawn, the lights are on, and it's dark outside. So that's what we're gonna do now. The diesel heat is on, I'm gonna go into the cold and I'm gonna show you lovely lot exactly what it looks like from the outside and to see exactly how stealthy we are. You're on your own, pal. Yeah, yeah, you stay in here, mate. You yeah. stay nice and warm in here, all right? I'll go over here. <laughs> Where it's warm. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> Just buy me boots. I'll mind your boots, don't worry. Do you want me to move those? Or... No, you're all right, you're okay. Bloody hell, I can feel the cold from here. <laughs> so this is the van. I don't know if you can see, actually, from the outside. You can see like a tiny bit of light. I mean, you really can't see anything, to be fair. It is pitch, pitch black. You've got a couple of tiny bits of light bleed. I don't know if you guys can see, you probably can't. Ah, I can definitely see in there. But anyway, that's a look of the outside of the van. Oh, my God. Is it windy and cold out there? Whoo, crikey. Matty's he got his engine on, trying to get warm. God, that brings back memories for me. I'm gonna lock the doors and get tucked in for the night. I have said to Matty, if he's really struggling, he can come in here and sleep. I'll clear a bit of space for him. It's not massively spacious, but uh, he can get his sleeping bag down there. At least he can be warm. Ah, oh, good night from Plush Hill in the Shropshire Hills. Oh, it's windy outside. I don't know if you can hear it over the sound of the diesel heater, but it's rocking the van a bit. Anyway, Matty's getting warm. He's gonna get toasty and go to sleep. We're all in our vehicles now. The night's over. I'll catch you in the morning. Porridge for breakfast. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh. Good morning. Relatively peaceful night. Um, Matty had to leave in the middle of the night. He wasn't having a good night, bless him. I did say to him to come in here and sleep down here, but uh, I think he was having some trouble with his shoulder, he said. There was a couple of cars that rolled in in the middle of the night. I can't remember what time it was. And I thought I could feel a sheep rubbing up against my van as well which isn't the first time it's happened in the Shropshire Hills. Happened at Longmind on the shooting box at once. Scared the life out of me, but I was a little bit more prepared for it this time. <laughs> Let's check out that amazing view, shall we? Oh, yes. It'd be interesting to see, actually, how much battery the glacier's got. 63%. And what temperature is it? Still two degrees in both. You see a cool box like that. If I was going away for a long weekend, just give it a quick blast of a charge on the Delta II. You'd easily get two or three days out of that. sniffed right by my door. That's amazing. And you know what the best thing about it is? We didn't pay a penny for tonight's camp.
is the way it should be. You want to get out and enjoy the great outdoors? You shouldn't have to pay for it. That being said, if you want to go to a campsite and have the luxuries of having facilities on site, toilets, showers, the ability to wash your clothes, maybe do some washing up, then uh, by all means, there's some great campsites out there. But for everyone who says, well, why don't you go to a campsite, support local businesses? A lot of these campsites, not all, but a lot of these campsites have either doubled or even tripled their prices since the lockdowns. You'll only catch me at a campsite if it's less than £10 a night. If it's any more, it has to be seriously special. Sixty-two percent. And it's still keeping Matty's milk cold. <laughs> I want to say a big thanks to EcoFlow for sponsoring today's video. And thank you ever so much, guys, for sending me the EcoFlow Glacier. It's going to be an absolutely amazing addition to my future camps. I can take all the food I'm going to need. I can freeze stuff, ice maker, everything. And the combination of having the inbuilt battery is just going to make that a total game changer. I'll leave a link in the description below to the Glacier if you guys want to check it out or any of the other EcoFlow products that they do. I've got the Delta II in the back. It's been a great camping companion. I've also got the River 2 Pro. Uh, that helped out with the kitchen build, powered all the tools, everything. Absolutely fantastic. So yeah, big shout out to EcoFlow. And I'm going to leave you guys here on Plush Hill in Shropshire while I enjoy those views and I either drink or eat my porridge. Um, we'll give it a couple more minutes and uh, see if it thickens up. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. I think we're going to be going out of Shropshire on the next camp. So uh, stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time.